What's going on Capricorn? I hope everybody's having a great week. This is going to be your full moon, which is happening on the 28th, your full moon reading along with your lunar eclipse. There is going to be a partial lunar eclipse also on the 28th. That is in the house of Taurus and it is the last eclipse of this year. So this is how it's going to affect your energy Capricorn. As the Taurus lunar eclipse takes place, it'll shed light on your desire for comfort, stability, and longevity when it comes to your passions and pleasures. While you're someone who loves to prioritize productivity, when granted opportunities to let your hair down, you, you'll likely to indulge to the fullest. Now is a time when you're leaning into fun without too many restraints, so feel free to partake in some of your favorite hobbies or spend time with those around you that you love. All right, take what resonates the most within this reading. Make sure you're watching your moon sign reading. We are, you know, in eclipse season, so there's going to be messages for you in your moon, your rising, and your Venus placement readings. All right. I'm giving away three free personal readings this month. All I need you to do is to become a subscriber to take part in these monthly giveaways. And for this month, leave a pumpkin emoji in the comment section. At the end of each month, I randomly choose the people to win the readings and I reach out to you through YouTube. But I'll always give you a heads up the final weekend to make sure you're paying attention to your notifications. Because three people will be hearing from me. All right. Spirit for my Capricorns. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Placement Capricorns. Look to the bigger picture. Full Moon in Sagittarius. It almost looks like that rose quartz color. And I know that that is the sign of Sagittarius. <clears throat> but for some reason, it always reminds me of love and Cupid's arrows. All right, and we have a new start is coming, new moon. Now, we just got through a new moon energy on the 14th. We still are within that energy also. So a new start is coming. All right. Let's see what else we can get. That was a crappy shuffle. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Christmas, Capricorn. Cross Watchers, welcome. Who wouldn't love a Capricorn? All right. What is coming towards my Capricorns with this full moon? Lunar Eclipse Energy. These cards are like bigger than the norm. It makes it hard to shuffle. All right. We have Marie Mar Masquerade, card of 14, which is a five. Glamour, intrigue, drama. You see that she's got the mask removed. So I feel like something is coming to light for you. Fairy of the Divine Hand. This is the energy of spirit watching over you. You know, re when we feel rejected, when things does not work out in our favor the way we would like it to or anticipate, rejection is protection. Rejection is a way for the universe and our spirit guides to redirect us towards something that's truly meant for us. Protect us from something that we deserve much better for, with intoxication, disoriented view, overindulgence. It's almost like the evil eye energy and dried flower fairy, sweet memories. Are you reminiscing about something? Does your mind take you to the past, somewhere in the past? Maybe that you were much happier, um, you felt more loved when you didn't feel, you know, some of us may feel alone when you, where you didn't feel alone. This also could be somebody that's reminiscing about you. Sweet memories. 11. 
All right, let's get into your reading. I'm going to do the energy currently that you're in. What is coming towards you in the very near future and in the distant future? Knight of Coins. There you are, Capricorn. You're moving very slow towards your stability. You're working hard. You're very focused. You're trying to remain grounded. But I do feel that you're moving towards success. For um, how this is, what you're you know what you're focused on, what you're slowly moving towards success towards it's going to be different for each and every one of you look at this for some of you you're finding love very shortly this is also the energy of needing to make a big decision in the very near future this is gemini energy big choice lies on your path capricorn King of Coins. And for some of you, it's going to be like leveling up in terms of your stability. You might even decide to become your own, um, your own boss, entrepreneur. Working hard, for some of you, I feel like you're very focused and career-oriented, work-oriented, goal-oriented. And it's like you're moving towards success. This big decision, it may be. You know, something falls on your path during this full moon energy, this lunar eclipse energy where, you know, do I take a new position? Do I leave the place where I've been at? You know, do I put this resume in? Do I see myself in this position? Should I go back to school? Maybe you're not finding happiness within what you do in terms of work. You thought you would. You thought you would love it. Maybe you have a past a hobby of yours that you're really good at and you're you're wanting to start a side business you're wondering if it's going to be you know a risk on fine you know the financial aspect of it because you're going to add need to add money into it but i do feel like i said you're le you're leveling up you're moving towards success this also could be you involved with an earth sign a fellow earth sign virgo taurus capricorn um and coming into union if you're dealing with another earth sign with sweet memories here. But like I said, for each and every one of you, it's going to be different. This new beginning, this new start that falls onto your path. And with sweet memories, you may have always been thinking about taking a new direction into something that you love, that you want to be focused on, that you really have a lot of passion for and you haven't started it up yet. But I do, I feel like you're definitely being noticed. You're very focused, Capricorn. And if you see, it's almost like a tightrope. So you're, you're taking a risk, but you're staying grounded in this new endeavor that you're moving on to. And it's gonna bring you balance and success. This might even be going into business with someone. Or like I said, someone around you noticing you, um, your, your capabilities, your qualifications, and wanting to give you something that's going to give you an increase, a step up in the ladder. All right, let's see what else we can get when we clarify. For my Capricorn spirit. Yeah, message is definitely coming. Something that weighs on you. Something that's in your mind. A message is coming in. That's really going to be game changing for you. Yeah, and it's something you're not expecting. What's coming towards you, this communication, this offer that's coming in, you're going to see this for your future. 
you're going to see this as your ship's coming in, you know, as your nine of cups increasing. There's an opportunity coming towards you. And now we have the strength card. You learning lessons and closing out cycles and looking towards the future. Six of Cups. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo. Ten of Cups. Nine of Wands. I got to tell you, Capricorn, it's been a struggle for you. Not everything has been, you know, a field of roses or, or sunflowers. It hasn't been. It's been like an uphill battle for you. But like I said, you're peaking the top. You're, you're advancing. You're success, there's success waiting for you. And I do feel you've believed in yourself. And that's why you're taking this risk to this new start that's coming. Spirit, why is sweet memories and the six of cups here? Why is sweet memories and the six of cups here? For Capricorn. All right. Justice and Ace of Cups. And the light just flickered as I picked up the Ace of Cups. For some of you, this is definitely a love offer coming in. A love offer coming in with the Ace of Cups here, the lovers and justice. It's going to be a very fair offer. Someone wants to come towards you. They're looking towards long term. And they want a, a stable, grounded connection with you. And like I said, I feel it shows up on your path when you least expect it. But for others of you, it's definitely going to be about your work or your career, promotion, advance, something you're not expecting. All right, spirit. What else can you give me for my Capricorns? In terms of this full moon energy. Yeah, for some of you, look at this. Unemployment, need a job in reverse. If you are without a job and you've been searching, you've been putting yourself out there, you've been working really hard, submitting your resume, attending um, interviews, there's something that falls on your path that's huge for you. That's going to pull you out of this unemployment energy. Huge decisions. And for some of you, it's going to be multiple opportunities opening up for you. You're going to pick you're going to you know pick up your phone. They're going to ask you to come in for an interview. Then you're going to put your phone down later that day. You're being called in for an uh, for an interview for somewhere else. That might even be something that you submitted a resume for, you know, 6 months ago and now you're finally hearing back from them at a time where adjacent possibilities are opening up for you. For some of you, you may be in a relationship. And you may be thinking about someone from the past. And that person's thinking about you. Big decision here. All right. What else do you have for my Capricorn spirit during this full moon lunar eclipse energy? Most important messages. All right. Yeah, see, we have 1111 here. Might have been somebody in your past that you had a disagreement with. The situation was very tense and painful when you left it. I do feel that there's going to be a chance for a new beginning between you and this person. A lot of abundance is coming your way in happiness. The hummingbird hums by the sweet nectar. And I feel you, goodness, nothing but abundance, happiness, and goodness coming your way. You're getting over these complications. Like I said, you're peaking that mountain. You're taking that, that risk on that tightrope towards a new beginning. We have five, five here. Change is coming. Capricorn, are you ready for it? 
11, 11, 5, 5. What else can we, what else do I see? Breaking things down. Making something else work. Like I said, you might have to close out of a cycle, your career, your work, maybe what you decided to go to school for, you know, for, um, you know, for, to further your goals and your career. And it's just not what you've decided to do. And there's something else that's going to make you happy. Maybe you feel like you have not found your soul's purpose. And there's something that your soul is driving you towards. Maybe you keep ignoring the, the, the um, signs. Now's the time to get on that tightrope and take that risk. Like I said, you're being divinely guided. It's time for happiness in your life. All right. Final messages, and then we're going to do Scrabble tiles, guys. And I hope everybody has a great weekend. Yeah, exactly. Soul's purpose. True destiny, true calling. Soul is calling you to your destiny. For some of you, like I said, when I spoke of love, this could be a soulmate coming towards you. You know, that you had a, a hard ending with. Painful ending. And you're both reminiscing over one another. Keeping the faith. Realizing that you are being divinely guided. See that light shining so intense? It's like your spirit guides the universe. Whomever you resonate with as a higher being, they're calling you towards this greatness that you're meant to have. Caught up in something, not telling the truth. Someone that is making up something not true. How does this work for those of you that is resonating? Someone that caused drama in your life. Seven of Swords type of energy is what I'm feeling. But you see that she's removing the mask. So I feel like there's like this person wants to come towards you and they want to they want to get past this. They want to heal the connection. For some of you, this definitely is a sign. All right. We have Y, A, S, B, O, R, L, U, I, C, E, X, and then the rest are repeats. U, O, a, E, I. We have every vowel here. B, S, C. All right, guys. Take what resonates. Like I said, make sure you're watching your other readings. Because there's going to be other messages that resonate. And give you more clarity on what's right here. I am sending each and every one of you so much love and light. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe and leave that pumpkin emoji. For those of you that want to participate in the giveaway. Um, the link to my Etsy shop is in the description box. I do offer personal readings and my Etsy shop currently is open. So much love and light.